Hi, what a science Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out how does your love interest feel about you right now. And this is a collective reading for water signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same water signs. Let's get reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, their love interest. How do they feel about water signs right now? Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So two two versions of this reading. The first one would be if you're separated from your person, and the second version would be a new connection. Okay. So we've got the uh, Eight of Swords here, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups for those of you separated from your love interest right now. They may be feeling stuck, right, with Eight of Swords. They're feeling stuck. They can't focus on their work right now, Eight of Pentacles. But they keep imagining um, Ten of Cups. Keep imagining a reconciliation between the two of you. And the Hierophant here in reverse, for me, this indicates them feeling like they've lost some faith in this connection currently, in this situation, that they can't tr quite figure out how to work on this, how how to either feel what to think. It feels a little bit like a very numb energy. They could be feeling kind of numb. And the Seven of Wands here in my first, they may feel like they can't do anything about this right now, that they shouldn't do anything about this right now at this moment because the Knight of Swords here is in my first. Um, unless they feel that about you, that you've given up and that you are not working on this connection, you're not focusing on it and you're not speaking with them, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. But the Knight of Swords in reverse also can indicate them feeling that they shouldn't be impulsive. They could be thinking long and hard in regards of your, their next communication uh, with you, what to say to you next. But I think they're a bit afraid with the tower here that everything is going to blow up in their face. And the four pentacles here indicates them feeling like they should keep to themselves for now. Or that they're still holding on to this connection. But I sense a lot of fear here. I don't know why. Um, they fear for another eruption with the tower here. Um something to go haywire between the two of you they could fear also for drama um miscommunication for saying the wrong thing with the knight of swords here in love first okay they also could be fearing certain consequences from this separation okay these kinds of consequences can be anything could be karma could be the hierophant in love first um something something legal kind of similar to justice to me uh, an organization uh, some sort of a break of a structure a break of promises fearing for some f huh? if you what is nice if you have somebody or people around you who are very protective of you this can be anybody, uh, or that you're being protected by something much more powerful, um, much bigger, much more powerful. If you're separated from your person right now, they, they may fear these consequences, as in someone will lash out at them, or that they will have to pay for something that they have done. I don't know, I'm getting this very specific message here. And obviously that's just for some of you because it's coming, right? They're afraid that it's coming with the Knight of Swords. Someone is going to come for them. An organization is going to come for them. Again, it feels a bit like some sort of consequences that, that they're afraid that they will have to face. If it's not about 
someone else or another thing, another something bigger than them taking revenge on behalf of you or that they may have to face some consequences because of the separation. It could be work as well, you know, Eight of Pentacles. Something, it may be related to work and money, consequences in regards to money. If both of you have something shared together, that's for some of you. Mm. So they feel like if that's the case, they feel like both of you need to talk, need to sort things out and be at harmony here with the Ten of Cups, even when if both of you are separated. But again, Ten of Cups can indicate reconciliation. They could be feeling like they need to speak to you in regards to reconciliation. And the Nine of Swords here in my first feels like they know they shouldn't be impulsive, that they should plan correctly, properly, before they speak with you. Because they may be afraid that it will go out of hand, the tower here, or that both of you will fight. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting here. But, I don't know. I'm getting a water signs with the heart fun here in my first. For those of you, if you feel like your person has somebody else, if they're involved in another connection, they may be feeling stuck in that connection, feeling that there's nothing they can do about this, and perhaps they should give up before it becomes worse with the tower here, before um, they're going to get exposed, uh, or before you're going to expose it, because it does feel like they're scared, right? Only for those of you, if you do know that your person is involved with someone else, uh, and that could ruin everything if they were to find out, yeah? They could be feeling like they need to lie to that person to keep the harmony between them and their family or then or that or with their person they feel like they need to like you know once say nice things to you so that you won't expose them with the tower here that's that part of storyline is just for some of you yeah if you you if you do know that your person has somebody else only for those of you don't freak out if your person doesn't okay And if this is someone new, what are signs? The Eight of Swords, Eight of uh, Pentacles here, and the Ten of Cups, they've been thinking a lot about you, about the future. For some reason, they have fear. If this is someone new, Four of Pentacles, they have fear opening up to you. They have fear that they might it's almost like they don't really want to open their heart to you or that they're afraid of the tower here. They're afraid of the unexpected because the tower, you know, the lightning is striking the tower. So it's a divine intervention and nobody can control the lightning, right? When is it going to strike? So they may have fear of rejection. They may have fear of the unexpected and ending fear of... Fear of falling in love. It could be that too. Fear of falling in love. Mm. Because Eight of Wands is a swift movement energy. Very fast. They could have fear that this is moving too fast. You know how sometimes I talk about if something moves too fast in the beginning, you know, it might also end as fast, right? So... And it's, it's going to end even more unexpectedly and harder. So I feel like they could be worrying about that, okay? There are a lot of worries. Eight of Swords and the Four of uh, Pentacles here. They, if this is someone new, yeah, because the Seven of Wands is not being guarded, right? Putting, you know, just opening up. They have fear in opening up to you. I think there's something they want to say to you. What a science. There's something they would like to express to you, but they are kind of indecisive right now with the two of swords, whether they should tell you or not. It could be them feeling like they need to tell you the truth, how they truly feel about you, which is ten of, cu ten of cups. They may feel like there could be potential for both of you to be living happily ever after in the, in the future. 
but also there are a lot of things going on in their head right now. If it feels like they may not have faith that this connection could materialize if this is new. Maybe there are a lot of obstacles. The obstacles could be related to money, could be related to their career. So I sense them feeling like they shouldn't move too fast, that they shouldn't be hasty, be impulsive. But they're passionate about you, Eight of Wands here. They do desire, they're passionate about you. But they feel like with the Two of Swords here that they need time to think, they need to decide. Yeah, they need to decide because they could be bracing themselves for the unexpected, right? And for those of you, if you're not speaking with your person right now, Two of Swords here can indicate them feeling blocked or that they feel like they shouldn't be whoever block who who first okay but i feel like they need some time to think they could be four pentacles here just keeping to themselves right now maybe the way things ended between two of you the way both of you stopped talking was very dramatic or it was very sudden unexpected Maybe there was some anger here, not a sort here in my first, some anger. So they could be feeling that they need to take some time for themselves before they speak with you again or open up communication with you, okay? What are signs or that they could be waiting for you to open up communication before they speak with you with the eight of ones, before they could speak with you or finding ways to speak with you. I don't know, it could go vice versa, all right? What are signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio this year reading? Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. The second playlist is from this channel. has all of the readings that I've done for you. And for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant. I post them every single day. Because, yeah, because I post them every single day, so they're still relevant. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, water signs. Bye.